So well, this is Jason Eagle, your board president, doing the first, I believe, uh, video president's report for your newsletter. I just wanted to update you on a few things that are going on here at the board, just so that you'll have uh, a good idea of what's going on. Uh, probably the most important thing that we're doing right now here with the board of directors is going through and looking at the organizational uh, layout of the board. We actually have hired a consultant that came in and took a, a long look at uh, the organizational structure of the board. Uh, how it was running, how it was functioning, and give us some really great recommendations on some ways to become more efficient um, and be more uh, focused on the, the customer service base out there. And so right now we are looking at those recommendations uh, to determine which ones are, are good for us to, uh, to take on and which ones uh, might not be so good for us to take on. It's been a long process. We've actually been working on this most of the year, and we have now come to the point where we have uh, solid recommendations, and um, I think we're really excited about what might be coming your way over the course of the end of this year and then beginning next year. And many of these recommendations uh, probably will not happen right away. A lot of them will be an ongoing process, but uh, it's good to know that we have a good uh, board that's focused on uh, really making sure that the, uh, the board is functioning the way that it should and uh, really uh, delivering to uh, our, asso our association members exactly what they want, how they want it. And the way that we came to uh, the realization of what it is that, that you really want and, and you would really like to have on your board is uh, through this consultancy, and we were able to survey the, the membership, and we received really good turnout uh, return from the survey. And if you want to take a look at that survey, there's actually a link below this video where you can see what we're working from. Uh, so this consultant surveyed the uh, membership. We had a really good return. Uh, there were some really pointed um, comments that were made and some good information that was given back to us. And that's the information we're taking to do some re reorganization here uh, inside the Board of Realtors right now. So uh, you should be excited about what's happening right now. We're listening to what you have to say, uh, making the appropriate changes, and I'm excited uh, again about what's going to happen, probably take place over the course of the next probably six months or so as we, uh, as we work through some of this. Another thing I wanted to update you on too, and I know that a lot of you have seen uh, information about a, a $100 assessment coming through the, uh, coming through the MLS. Uh, essentially to buy lot boxes in the next three years. Uh, just to let you know, your representation from Asheville uh, on that board of directors at the uh, regional MLS didn't feel like this was a great move for, for a lot of different reasons that we obviously can't go into uh, with the length of the video that we had. I'd be more than happy to discuss them with anyone who would like to uh, contact me. But suffice it to say, we went in and fought hard uh, for, the, uh, for that assessment to be dropped and ultimately we were successful. So if you know any of your represent, representatives on that particular board, uh, I just want you to let you know that they, they really fought hard, really went to bat for you in this. It felt like a, a $100 assessment per year over the next three years was just not the best and wisest way to use our money with respect to uh, lot boxes. So that has been taken care of. There, there will be no assessment. Uh, certainly in the, over the course of the next three years, you can hear a lot of talk about purchasing lot boxes and what needs to be done there. And I think that ultimately something will have to be done. Um, but uh, it certainly deserves a lot more conversation and consideration than potentially has been given to this point um, about what, what exactly we need to do. So uh, as it is right now, no assessment, and uh, we're moving ahead with, uh, with what we have and, and how we have it. Uh, our current contract with, uh, with Supra expires in three years, uh, so we'll look at again what we, uh, what we need to do between now and, uh, and that three-year mark. Had a very successful uh, broker in charge meeting. Uh, last month we had a, a good turnout there, so I would encourage you that if you are a broker or an owner and uh, would like to participate in these meetings, watch for them to come up. Uh, it really makes a difference when you come in and give me feedback on, on what you're seeing going on out there, and I can tell you directly uh, what's going on in here. I'm, I'm very open to come and speak to any uh, group or uh, any firm that, that they want to. I've been making this pitch since the beginning of the year. And, I haven't had anyone pick me up on this just yet, but I am available to come and answer any questions that you might have within your firm. Uh, another point I want to make is I hope that you saw the reminder that went out that the, uh, the annual meeting, uh, the election meeting, will be moved to December. That was simply based on the fact that the, uh, the election committee, the, the, the nominating committee, had a really hard time finding people that wanted to volunteer. So, you know, this is a volunteer-driven organization. If you want to make change, if you're... Uh, um, wanting to know what's going on, then this is the way that you do it, by volunteering and becoming a part of it so that you can make changes from, from the inside rather than the outside. So if they had a tough time finding uh, people to fill all the slots, ultimately that was done. And for our bylaws, we need a specific amount of time uh, so that people can challenge those slots if they want to. 
So if you're thinking about challenging one of those spots you would like to run, then I would certainly encourage you to uh, get in touch with us here at the board office to let us know, and uh, we'll walk you through that process. Um, the last thing I wanted to touch on real quickly here is that uh, there was also talk of an increase uh, in dues from the state level. So the North Carolina Association of Realtors was uh, debating and discussing increasing your dues by $20 this year. And I'm happy to say that we sent a contingent from Asheville. And along with some of the other larger boards uh, in North Carolina, we were able to vote that down. It was a very close vote. And uh, it wasn't, certainly wasn't a unanimous type thing at all. So again, we had representatives from Asheville travel uh, to the North Carolina Association of Realtors uh, annual meeting there to, uh, to, to basically give them uh, our assessment of uh, why they were increasing the dues. And ultimately, that was, um, that was voted down uh, by a close vote, I think, of 64 to 55, something of that nature. Uh, and uh, all of your representatives voted against that increase in dues. Uh, so again, uh, just want to let you know what's going on here and how we are going out there to hopefully um, put your best interests in mind. Uh, take care of those things that need to be taken care of. And uh, as of now, we've been able to avoid $120 worth of increases uh, this year for you guys. Again, I want to reiterate that I'm perfectly available to speak to anyone at any time. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly. Uh, my email address and phone number are both on the MLS. You can give me a call. I'd be happy to come speak to your organization at any time. If you have any questions about what's going on here, uh, be free to con contact me directly. If not, look forward to seeing everybody at the uh, annual meeting in December. Thanks a lot.